Hey guys, this is John with LifeNets, and uh, got about an hour left in the campaign, and it doesn't look like we're gonna uh, reach our goal. Um, we we're trying to get 10,000 letters, and it looks like as of now we're just getting about 9,000. So uh, unfortunately, we don't have any more time. Um, I really have to send the letters off to to get printed uh, to have them ready in time. So we're just gonna charge on with the, the next campaign. Uh, it kind of sucks that we didn't uh, meet our campaign goal, but um, you know, if it, uh, if it was easy, uh, it wouldn't be a good goal. It's been a lot of work getting these uh, 9,000 letters to the Senate, and we're going to deliver them all on uh, next Wednesday. So look out for like a video from the Capitol. It's going to be crazy. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go uh, straight into our uh, next campaign, which is uh, petition signatures for a no-fly zone in Darfur. I think this is really important. One of the reasons is that um, you know uh, there's all the pressure has been towards getting like the the United Nations peacekeeping force on the ground, but the problem with that is that um, Sudan is is very or the, the government in Sudan, the National Islamic Front, they're very, very good at playing public opinion. So they say like, oh, you know, we're going to allow peacekeepers in. And then, you know, then they start like nitpicking uh, the proposal and say, oh, well, it doesn't have enough like African peacekeeping troops because they know that African has very little, Africa has very little uh, peacekeeping capability. And Sudan has a tremendous amount of influence with other African countries. So it's very easy for them to uh, subvert um, a peacekeeping mission that is largely African based. And so they agree to peacekeepers like they did recently. And then the media prints, you know, Sudan agrees to peacekeepers. And then everyone thinks the problem's over with. And then uh, Sudan starts watering down the proposal and backing out of it like they did the last time. Um, you know, they did this before and now they're doing the exact same thing with the, the UN force on the ground. So um, we need to put a, a no-fly zone in now so that Sudan's not in a position to back out of it. In any case, uh, thank you again for all your help with the campaign. Um, it's been really inspiring um, for me to see people putting in so much time and effort, even though a lot of you are working full-time jobs or you're going to school. And obviously you all have other things you're doing, but you make the commitment because you believe in the cause. And um, I really appreciate it. And we're going to do the best we can in D.C. to make sure that your voices are heard by these senators and that they take this seriously. So, um, yeah, other than that, um, hope you all have a great night. And um, look out for our, our video from the Capitol. Okay, see you then. Bye.